simply go to Internet Explorer and type in there. Uh, you can actually just search for C Compiler uh, Win32 or you can just um, go to download once we're in download.com we just type C compiler and there's quite a few now you could just simply just click on download now and you'll download the Miracle C compiler which I'm going to actually use today to demonstrate the C um, scripts that we're going to try so assuming that you've downloaded um, the compiler just simply now load it so we'll just click on um, start if you're using uh, XP I'm using here Windows Vista um, so we will just look for the program um, Miracle C compiler and here we go there's Miracle C compiler there so I'll just click on that now just to load it's got Miracle C compiler workbench and that's basically how it opens so we'll just click on file click on new and that's a new page okay now what we're going to start uh, by doing the very first example I showed you on the board which was the hello world script in C so like we said on the board we'll start with the hash or the pound sign and we'll add the include so include and then like I said less than stdio dot h which is the library file or the header file which, uh, h okay we're going to start straight away with main and then we we'll put the brackets then we're going to have the curly uh, brace or curly brackets to start um, the main body function and we're going to put printf as the command and we're going to put um, quotation marks hello world and like I explained uh, backslash n start a new line if we want to start two lines we just put backslash n again and we'll demonstrate that in a minute how that will work um, I think what I, we should do we'll just add to that just a bit more uh, we add another printf okay to demonstrate the new line um, feature we'll say hello world my name is Ahmed Sari Higap okay and put N again and like I said we end every command whether it's in C or ASP or PHP we always put a semicolon at the end okay and we'll close that script with another um, curly brace the opposite direction of course okay just to give you an idea uh, for those that are going through the PHP training uh, to write a PHP script this is up there up there is the that's that's a C that's a C script okay that's a C program there uh, but if you were to write the same thing but in PHP it would be starting with a less than and then a question mark and then we'll just put an echo echo is the command you don't need to do any includes or anything like that it's the command instead of printf and we'll just put quotation marks hello world and just the same way as we we made a new line we'll put a backs, backslash n and then we'll put um, at the end the semicolon again okay we'll put two backslash ends here so it's the same and we'll put um, echo again this time my name is Ahmed Sami Higap okay slash n again and quotation marks and that's it and that's that's a PHP script that there does exactly the same as all that up there that's in C, that's a C program and that's a PHP script okay but we're not here to do PHP so I'm just, I'm just giving you a quick example to do that um, you're probably like watching me saying what's he doing he's supposed to have saved the file first gave it a name so we'll do that now 
we'll click on save and this time um, let me find a folder to put it in now I've actually demonstrated it so what we'll do we'll go to computer or my computer on, on your system go to C I'm going to create a new folder here new folder and we're going to call that C examples okay maybe it would have been a better idea if that was a small C so here we're going to put um, hello world okay put hello world hello world C and then it would it, it would actually put the end dot C because it says there um, star dot C if we want to save a header file put dot H but in this case it's going to be a dot C we don't need to actually insert it ourselves so we'll just click on save so now it's saved we'll just drag that down close that now what I've done is I put the command prompt here uh, if you're using XP it will be somewhere here it would say to you command prompt or run then you could type CMD which is command and it will take you to the DOS or simply if you're using Vista like myself you can actually type search and then if you type let's bring that drag the window here command prompt okay and if I scroll down you can actually see it there okay so, and you can just drag it to the desktop so it's, it's you know it's closer to your eye view every time because you'll be using it quite a lot unless of course you're using Visual C uh, 2008 or Visual C++ 2008 uh, with Visual Studio in that case you're compiling and you're viewing it in Windows but in this case I'm going for the very very basic um, stage which is doing compi compiling and running and executing the, the program in the 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 command shell or DOS in other words. So we're just going to click on command prompt now. We're now inside DOS or the command prompt if you want to call it that way. I'm quite familiar with DOS um, from a young age, so I, I always call it DOS. Um, so anyway, uh, CD backslash takes you right to the root of C. Now CD stands for change directory. MD is make directory okay rd is remove directory uh, just a little quick lesson in DOS there so we just put dir for directory slash w gives us a width width view and we're gonna look for what do we call it c examples just stop there here you go just this one here you can't actually highlight with a mouse so we're just pointing so we put you have to put c capital examples and click on that. Now we're inside the directory or the folder. And if we put dirw again, we see hello world.c. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the shell. I'm just showing you where the, the file is. And we're now going to compile. Okay, so it, it's executed. There's no errors. If there was an error, it would actually say it. they won't allow you to compile. We're going to click on build because now we're going to build it in into an exe file and if we click on execute you won't actually see it uh, executing it would happen very quickly so it, you didn't really see it um, happen there but here if we put dirw we see all the you know the object files and so on but we're, what we're interested in is the executable file which is hello world.exe so we just, if we type hello world here it should say hello world my name is Ahmed Samihika and that's the program for now